a true seekers welcome back almost finished with the book big announcement coming soon just real quick i want to speed through some things in the news from the california fire that began on the great chicago fire anniversary october 8th remember last year there was the oakland warehouse fire set by the numbers and i showed how that was a ritual in tribute to the great chicago fire now less than a year later big fire in california on the same date no doubt a baseball riddle we're going to talk about that some stuff that came up about the las vegas false flag and just a few other things you know here's a news headline today october 10th 2017 that adrian peterson the once star nfl running back has been traded from the new orleans saints to the arizona cardinals and think about it saints cardinals that's Catholic terminology. As I've been explaining, the Jesuits control the world of sports. When your eyes are open, you see the rituals that take place. And when you learn the language of Gematria, you see the extra coded tributes behind it. Such as why the Cardinals are in Phoenix. Once upon a time, they were in Chicago. If you don't know, the Arizona Cardinals are one of the two oldest teams in the NFL. But look, in the language of Gematria, Phoenix equals 46, like Catholic, like religion. JFK was killed at age 46. Down below, I'll link this calculator. This gives you your four base methods for Gematria. Very special, all of these numbers. But think about it. JFK, the only Catholic president, number 45, killed at age 46. In Hebrew, both the words murder and kill equal 46. In English, sacrifice 46, JFK, 35th president, killed at age 46. Cardinal, a right-hand man to the Pope. Saint, something you become in the Catholic Church if your life was important after death. So Peterson goes from a saint to a cardinal. Phoenix 46, Catholic 46, religion 46, and again, JFK killed at 46. That was a big number on the death of Muhammad Ali, whose death I predicted at age 74 in 2014. Muhammad 74, killing 74, it wasn't hard to see. Also, Arizona has gematria of 84, like Jesuit, also like the Jesuit order. Jesuit and ordinal, 84, same as Arizona, 84. You get on here, you type out the Jesuit order in reverse reduction, 84. Notice the 201, the man who established the Jesuits, Ignatius of Loyola, his name, Gematria, also 201. Notice the word Jesuit alone is 21, just like the word Bible. 73 is the 21st prime. There's 73 books in the Catholic Bible. The name Adrian Peterson, also, you know, 84. How perfect. He goes to Arizona. Jesuit ritual, the Jesuits farming these athletes. Absolutely. And notice the Gematria of 159. Remember, they used him for the race war shaming for supposedly beating his child. Can't remember if they used him for a, a woman beating incident as well. But I just want to show you this. Black man, 159. Go back and look at the headline September 15th. White police officer acquitted for killing black man. And the news kept emphasizing black man. And then it was like, what kind of story is this? They're not even putting out anyone's name. White police officer acquitted for killing black man. And then if you read the story, it was a black man in 2011. Why are they doing that on September 15th, 2017? Because every day it's news by the numbers. Now, a lot of people are making some big noise about this Simpsons episode. The Simpsons episode about Ned Flanders up in the clock tower raining down bullets. On people below, they're saying this was predictive programming for the Las Vegas false flag. It's possible. You know, The Simpsons has a lot of predictive programming. We've talked about how the writer's name is the most Masonic thing there ever could be. I want to show you what's interesting about this cartoon, this episode of Ned Flanders up in the clock tower, raining down bullets on the people below. It came out March 17th, 1994, 317. Remember, we saw Tom Petty die the day after the shooting. Then the next weekend, Jason Aldean, the performer at the Vegas concert, 
He went and played Tom Petty's I Won't Back Down in tribute to him and the Las Vegas shooting. As I covered, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers equals 317, which is the 66th prime number. We saw Tom Petty die at age 66, October 2nd, 2017, the day of the news story of the Vegas shooting, which happened late October 1st. So very interesting date. This is also a date with numerology of 133. Las Vegas, Nevada equals 133. It came a span of 133 days from the concert shooting in England, Ariana Grande. <laughs> so, a few other things that are interesting. 16th episode of the fifth season, Scottish Rite equals 165, is in Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. Ned Flanders also has Gematria of 102, kind of like 10 slash 2, the date of the news. This number was also coded into the shooter's name, as we talked about, you know. Talked about how the shooter's name was Stephen Gematri of 102, Ned Flanders 102, 10 slash 2 News. This was the 97th episode of The Simpsons, which is the 25th prime. Both death, or the word death sums to 25 and 97. 97, the 25th prime. Ned Flanders, you know, Mr. Bible Thumper, Mr. Sunday, Sunday shooting in Vegas, death. Also, the episode name. A lot of these numbers up here are interesting, but look at the 211. That's the 47th prime. Nevada equals 47. Firearm equals 47. They said the shooter had 47 guns. Look at when he starts to shoot, look at where the hands are on the clock. The 2 and the 11. And this is the episode name. Homer loves Flanders. This is the episode where Ned Flanders shoots down on the crowd. You know? Well, the reason I said this might not be for the Nevada false flag or possibly it is is because there's so many rituals that use these numbers again and again. You know, there, there's in history, there's been a shooter up in a clock tower down on a crowd. You know, what, what happens in our world is history repeating itself. There's so many false flags. There's so many tragedies that have happened since this cartoon came out. But it is possible that this was also pointing to the Vegas incident. And as we're going to get to... The Vegas incident is synced up with the eclipse. They shut down the clock tower, Big Ben, the day of the eclipse. And they shut it down for four years. With regards to 211 being the 47th prime, the word time also equals 47. Remember, the tropics are 47 degrees apart. The name Ned Flanders also equals 48, like false flag, like Freemason, like Illuminati. Freemason in Hebrew and in English equals 48. From the day the Mandalay Bay opened, March 2nd, 1999, to the day of the shooting was 223 months, 223, the 48th prime. The writer of The Simpsons, his full name equals 223, the number for Masonic, the number for the synagogue of Satan. Very special number, connecting to false flag. Now, the last time I talked about the Jason Aldean tattoo, it was cut off. I didn't know that there was a black sun above it. I just knew about the J and the A, like his initials and like how J's the 10th letter, A's the first for a 10-1 shooting October 1st. But look at the black sun blotted out. Again, this is synced up with the eclipse, the first of its kind in 99 years in this nation that just happened. Look at this. From... August 21st to the October 1st shooting was 41 days, which is the 13th prime number. USA 41, 13 call 99. If you write out 13, it sums to 99. There's 13 lunar cycles in a year. Yom Kippur, this shooting happened on the weekend of Yom Kippur, which is the most important Jewish holy day to atone for your sins. Judgment for your sins. And Sin City got shot up. Yom Kippur equals 99. Mandalay Bay, which opened in 99, also equals 99. So does Sin City. The shooter was born April 9th, the 99th day of the year. Let's not forget Las Vegas equals 49 as well. So does Revelation. Revelation, very similar to Yom Kippur, about judgment, sin, March 2nd, the date of the opening of the hotel, kind of like 32, 32nd floor shooting. Now recall, this is the Illuminati card game that came out 30-some years ago. 
On the Las Vegas card, it has the Jack and Ace as well, which is a black Jack, you know, so it's a common hand to have for a tattoo. You know, that's what a lot of people say. Well, they say, well, a lot of people have a black Jack tattoo, especially in Vegas. I'm sure there's probably a million of them. But, you know, we know the way these people work. It's no coincidence that Jason Adin was at the false flag. Jason Adin equals 33, like false flag, like concert, like October, like Steven, like police, like masonry, like secrecy. Anyhow, this card, notice in the words, you control the house. By spending Vegas action, you may bet from one to three plot cards. Is that a lot like 13? Remember, the shooter who's born on the 99th day of the year, they put out this image of his eyes shut with a 13 right on his neck. A 13. And again, if you write out 13, it sums to 99. His birthday, April 9th, is the 99th day of the year. You know, leaving 266 days remaining. Right now we have the 266th Pope who visited the United States the other year on the 266th day. From the eclipse to the shooting, 41 days, the 13th prime. Here's all that gematria for 99, you know. One to three, that's a lot like 13, is it not? Also, for good measure, 10 slash one shooting, J, Jason, a, 1, J, 10, A, 1, 10, 1 shooting. Assassin equals 101. So does Mandalay Bay Casino. So does, oops, I, I was doing this too fast. The word casino is also 101, not hotel. See that? Casino and Mandalay Bay Casino also 101. Just the same as Assassin. You see that? Too much. And again, 223 months from the opening to the shooting, the 48th prime. Illuminati equals 48. This is the Illuminati card game. Another note. We saw the Cubs clinch their division on the day Hugh Hefner died at age 91. And the Cubs clinched with their 91st win. Remember, Hugh Hefner died on the Jesuit order's birthday which was established in history September 27th, 1540, a date with 91 numerology. Then we saw the Route 91 Harvest Festival shoot Route 91 Harvest Festival shooting on the day leaving 91 days left in the year. If you add 1 through 13 together, it equals 91, 91 the 13th triangular number. In spring training this year, I said I like the Nationals a lot in the National League, but if I was wrong about them, I like the Cubs or the Dodgers. And with this recent fire starting on 10 slash 8, the anniversary of the Great Chicago Fire in California, let's remember that Major League equals 108, so does Geometry. It was the reason I guaranteed the Cubs would win the World Series last year because it had been 108 years since they last won. Made that guarantee last spring training. Last year was an easy read. Anyhow, all these riddles been syncing up. Cubs, Dodgers for the National League Championship Series is making a lot of sense right now with the fire being set on the anniversary of the great Chicago fire, if you're following me. If the Cubs close out the Nationals today, remember this. 10 plus 10 plus 17 is 37, just like Chicago, you know? We just saw the Chicago Bears lose on Monday Night Football on Columbus Day, which was also Leif Erikson Day. The Viking, the Vikings beat the Bears last night. Columbus Day equals 37, so does Erikson, you know? It's all a joke. Last year on Monday Night Football, the Tampa Bay Bucks won away from their home. Last night, the Vikings won away from their home on Columbus Day. Sailors, Pirates, Invaders, Riddles, Rig Sports, Mocking, Using History. High winds fuel deadly California fires. Think about it. This is a tribute to the great Chicago fire, the windy city. Where are these high winds coming from? It's because we're living in a mad age. Weather warfare, rituals. In my book, I talk about how the great Chicago fire was set on purpose and how it's been done numerous times, even paying tribute to the great Chicago fire. And I didn't even mention this. This hadn't happened yet. So now I need to go back in and add this. And we'll see what happens in the baseball game. We'll probably get some more clues. <laughs> Might get a first game between the Dodgers and Cubs if that's the way it's supposed to be with a score of 10 to 8. Don't kid yourself. That's the way these people work. 
Also, this story about the Miami offensive line coach doing lines. Miami's the cocaine capital, if you saw this. This stuff is just a joke. His name was Chris. This news came out of nowhere on Chris Columbus Day. You know, think about where Columbus landed, not far from Florida. Stuff is all a joke. His last name, Forrester, 106, just like Christopher Columbus, just like Columbus, number of prophecy and authority, all mocking. All mocking. All throughout history, the tyrants have controlled the drug trade of this world because they're all about controlling the things that control the minds of the masses that also control money. Drugs are money. You know, professional football is money. And it's all rigged, scripted narrative. You got to check out this blog post about the uh, Two Minutes to Midnight, the music video from Iron Maiden from 1984, 33 years ago. In that music video, Big Ben is all wrapped up in scaffolding, just like it is now. And then some crazy stuff goes down in the world. You know, I told you this. When they shut down Big Ben on the day of the eclipse, I talked about how Big Ben equals 33, like England 33, like Eclipse 33. I said, this is, this is signaling some event coming that we don't want to happen as the people of the world living under the New World Order tyranny. This music video 33 years earlier... You know, cluing us in. By the way, this music video came out on August 6th, the dropping, the anniversary of the Hiroshima bombing, the 39-year anniversary, atomic bomb 39, Great War 39, the Great War began in 1939, World War II, Big Ben also 39, Eclipse 39, you know, Masonry 39, 39 books in the Old Testament. What else? We're just going through the blog post. I'm just showing you guys how my blog is. For all of you who don't read my blog, that's what you miss out on. Every day is like this. I normally don't do videos this way, but I'm trying to show off the blog. Look at this bullshit story. Supposedly it cost Mike Pence $242,500 to fly to Indianapolis and back. I mean, if this is true, this is exactly why we need to get rid of the federal government. What's it cost you to fly from Las Vegas to Indianapolis and back? $1,000? Less? When the federal government does it, it costs this much of our tax dollars. This is why everyone needs to stop what they're doing. Stop paying taxes. All we're doing is paying for our demise, for our mocking. And, and by the way, I mean, the government just prints money. Our money is monopoly money. The only reason it hasn't any worth is because we still believe in it. You know, the money's here to control us. All of you trying to get rich, trying to get rich on that monopoly money. Why? So you can buy some more shit? This world's not about buying shit. It's about getting free. It's about getting free. Here, little reminder. Little reminder. Slavery equals 102. So does fuck you. So does United States of America. You know? And uh, I'm sure there'll be a riddle here in the future. You know, when Vegas gets their team. Let's see who they play first. You know, there's probably some riddle here. Some NFL riddle. Since this had to do with NFL football. As I talked about, the Colts won with 26 points. Flag equals 26. POTUS equals 26. So does Tweet. POTUS means President of the United States. Mr. Tweet. He told Mike Pence to leave the game because they were protesting the flag. Flag 26. POTUS 26. Tweet 26. 26 point win. 49 combined points. A game over the 49ers. NFL 49. America 49. Donald J. Trump 49. Washington 49. All scripted theater. Always. Hey, did you know Star Spangled Banner equals 1776, like our year of establishment? How about that? How about that? Star Spangled Banner's got it all. The 223, the 119, the 88. You know, before we knew reverse gematria, we knew a lot, but now we know even more. <laughs> the classic cut on the diamond, you want to know about it? I mean, all this shit's interesting. I just, everything that's interesting that comes across my path Stuff I put in my book, I put it up on my blog so people can just read it in real time, you know? Read about it. How about this Google Doodle today? This is the most Masonic shit I ever saw in my life. Black and white. Black and white, those are the Masonic colors, the checkerboard floor. I'm sure you decode more, or there's even more, but look at this. Black and white has the 113, numbers of masonry. This story came on what would have been his 156th birthday. He was a Norway native. Remember Oslo had that false flag the other year by the numbers on July 22nd? Anyway, he would have been 156. If you write out 33, it sums to 156, like Norway, like October. Let me show you. As I've explained a million times, Google Doodle only does 
tributes for people who've been murdered by the numbers in history. Without exception. There are no exceptions to this. His name, 223, you know, they just can't get away from it. The synagogue of Satan equals 79 and 223. Freemasons, 155. Knights Templar, 65. You know, 47 degrees on the Freemason compass. There's so many things about this name. But look at where he died. Lysacker, Norway. Lysacker. 74, killing. 187, the homicide code. Big number for masonry. Lysacker, 44, like kill. You know, there's that 13th triangular number important to the Jesuits. Society of Jesus, 187 for the Jesuit order. He died 216 days from his birthday, 6 times 6 times 6. Remember, concert equals 666, so does October. It was 216 days after Jason Aldean's birthday. See what I mean? Some bullshit story just comes out, you know, more than a week after the shooting. Las Vegas killer also killed guard six... I mean, wouldn't this have been one of the main stories if he killed a guard before he went on the shooting? They just figured this out. They just have to keep making up shit to bring you back to their fake narrative. Then there's a false flag at Texas Tech, which equals 33, just like false flag, like police. Somebody at the Texas Tech campus told me that the amount of police there was insane, so they thought it was real. But I reminded them and not the nicest words, that that's what false flags are. Police showing up, doing a drill, so that everybody there thinks something real has happened, you know? (laughs) If you're in a city and a bunch of police show up, that doesn't mean anything really happened. On the Boston Marathon bombing, there were a gazillion police. They locked down the city. They put it on temporary martial law over some firework explosions, you know? So anyway... If I cuss you out in the comments because you leave a, a, a dumb comment, I'm sorry. I'm an asshole. I say that all the time. But don't leave a dumb comment. Then you won't get me chewing you out, you know? Leave a comment that, hey, Zach, I think this is real because there was police here. I mean, how fucking dumb of a comment is that? You know? Texas Tech false flag right for it, you know? And this came on CC Christopher Columbus Day. Let's not forget about it. You know, CC 33, paid for by the Catholic Church, was Jewish. Came over here and called the people Indian. Indian equals 33, like Americas, like Manifest, like Destiny, you know? Indians, Yankees, 3-7. <laughs> to seven. And before this game was played, I talked about the significance of 37. Yankees equals 37, Columbus Day 37. <laughs> We didn't know it was Leif Erikson Day then as well. Erikson 37, American 37, 2017 is 20 plus 17, 37. Have you seen this sorry motherfucker right here? Taylor Winston? Oh my God. Winston's the main character in 1984. Winston 33, you know, false flag 33, Marine 33, you know. If you haven't seen this interview, look this up. This is just the stupidest story. I mean, the guy keeps looking down. Not to mention, he has like the gayest voice one could possibly ever have. I think it's supposed to be some subtle gays in the military programming. All these men full of estrogen. Taylor Winston. I mean, he's got all the numbers on him. All the numbers on him. But By the way, by the way, just seeing that 146 up on the screen, this... Fire in California comes on the 146th year anniversary of the Great Chicago Fire. For four straight seasons, I've been documenting this riddle with 146 and Chicago and the Cubs. Remember, that's the number that represents Jesus Christ and the Tropic of Cancer in the north and Capricorn and the fall of the Greeks to the Romans who fell in 146 BC and who wrote the New Testament. There, there's something massive with that number. And again, it's all biblical. The Cubs clinched on the Catholic or uh, the Jesuit order's birthday. It's just... Same day Hugh Hefner died, Mr. Red and Black. The Jesuit colors red and black. So anyway, we're just going through the blog. (laughs) Here it is, Erickson Columbus Day. You know, the final score ends up being 37 points. Every single week, I, I pretty much write exactly what numbers the score ends up being because all of these games are that scripted. So if you guys are not using my blog, you're missing out on a lot. Uh, I put in a lot of time and energy here. By the way, VidMe deleted my VidMe channel on Columbus Day. I knew that they were YouTube light. It was coming. 
Great Chicago fire. Go back and see my work on the ghost ship fire in Oakland. You know, I, I said that night, I said, look, the Cavs are playing in Chicago. Fire in Oakland on December 2nd. Golden State equals 122. It's on the 122nd meridian. Word re number representing Freemason, Elohim. And then boom, you know. Just like I said, I said this is more proof that the NBA Finals will be Warriors and Cavs for the third straight time, which I said before the season began. And then if you recall, they brought up the ghost ship fire right as the NBA Finals were beginning. They made some arrests, you know. It's just all bullshit. It's all riddles. It's all connected to sports. It's madness. This is why we need to stop investing in these sports leagues. You're giving your money to the tyrants who set these fires, who create these crazy riddles. A lot of people are being inconvenienced by this fire. And also, on, on, on Christopher Columbus Day with the Yankees killing the Indians, think about it. We also get some race war bullshit. ESPN suspends their black woman who, you know, called out Donald Trump, the orange Oompa Loompa, the subtle racist. Can't stand when people say, how's Donald Trump racist? I mean, where the fuck do you live? How did he begin his campaign? Was it not with the rhetoric about Mexicans doing all the raping? That's exactly how his presidential campaign began. That was his first headline. Mexicans are doing all the raping. And then he got called out for it. He said, well, if you look at the stats, I mean, who's doing the raping, Don? It's a lot of Mexicans. <laughs> you don't think the guy's fucking racist? I bet you that motherfucker's raped a lot of women. You know, Mr. Grope. A black guy gets beat at his rally, his all-white rally. A black guy gets beat and he says that he deserved it. I mean, is that shit not racist? What's he mean by that? He deserved it. What's that mean? when a black guy gets mobbed by a group of white people. Is that not racist? Sounds pretty fucking racist to me. He deserved it. What did he mean by that? Did he mean a black guy shouldn't be at his rally? What made me sick were all these YouTube shills that are black people showing up while Trump was running, making these videos. As a black man, I really like Donald Trump. I mean, how much are these motherfuckers getting paid? My God, you know, people will sell out for money. Oh, by the way, the Yankees pitcher who won yesterday, his name was 109, Yankees 109, <laughs> October 9th game, Christopher Columbus Day, beating the Indians. It's something else, true seeker. Guy lets me know on Facebook that he cannot share my blog post. Other people commented and said they're having the same problem. Try to share my blog on Facebook. You won't be able to. As a reminder, on the 74th day of this year, I was hacked on every online account I have. Caused major problems for me. I invested. I built a website for truth seekers. I paid two young men to do the work. And the day I got hacked, they flipped on me. They said I was a shill. I hacked my own account. It was my fault. All of a sudden, all these people turning against me. You know? It's just... If you guys think I'm a shill, I mean, you're blind. You don't, you don't see all the shit working against me. How many times do my accounts have to be deleted? I'm banned from Facebook. You know, I've had... Yeah, I'm a shill that's banned everywhere online. Doesn't that just make so much sense? I'm a shill who's given out the most truth in this world that just adds up more and more every single day. I mean, anyone who thinks I'm a shill doesn't know what that fucking word means. Got all these Bible-thumping retards believing in the Son is some man who died on a cross for your sins. You know, those are the people who think I'm a shill, the gullible sheep. Jesus Christ is the Son. Wake up. God is not retarded. If you believe in Jesus Christ, you believe God is retarded, period. I mean, what a stupid plan. Hey, humanity's fucked up, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my mortal son down to die on a cross so that you can just all keep being fucked up. Just go to church every Sunday and put your money in the plate and eat his body and drink his blood. Like, that doesn't sound satanic. And keep telling everybody your religion's better than everyone else's, you know? You're the best. Fuck everyone else. Kill those savages. You know, that's what they did over here. They came over here with their Bibles, holier than thou, and killed the sane native people. You know what I mean? Last year also, we started Happy Fuck Christopher Columbus Day. So this was year two of the celebration, you know. 
Anyway, True Seeker, if you don't follow the blog, you've been missing out all this time. There's just so much information on the blog. You gotta follow the blog. <laughs> you gotta follow the blog. JJ Watt, you know, what a loser. Just this guy is such a loser, man. Fake injuries every time. Nothing even happened to him in this game, and they're saying he's out for the season. I mean, the NFL, the professional sports are just so stupid. Last year, he missed 13 games. What numbers he wear? 99. When you write out 13, it equals 99. By the way, before this game was played the week before, I said the Chiefs would be 5-0 and against the Texans. In history, the Dallas Texans became the Chiefs. Chiefs equals 50. Undefeated equals 50. They're 5-0, and the only undefeated team in the league. Lo and behold, they go on to win with 42 points in primetime on Sunday night football. SNF 42, Alex 42, week 5. 5 when written out equals 42. You know? All a script. It's all scripted, truth seeker. It's all scripted. So... Before this gets too long here, we'll just cut it off. Here's our Mike Pence game, the 26-23 to 23 win. <laughs> never ends. It never ends. Let's not forget that Mike Pence, you know, you got you to gotta break out your gematria. Mike Pence, 45, forwards and backwards. Right-hand man to the 45th president. He's the 48th vice president, Donald Trump, 48. You know, see how it goes? You see how it goes, truth seeker? I hope so. Until next time.